The first railway roundabout programme of all appeared on BBC television on the 20th of April 1958. It featured a film recording the closure of a railway, an event that was to become all too familiar in the years to come. The railway which closed at the beginning of 1958 was the former London and North Western Railway and later LMS and Western Region route which served the South Wales coalfields. This was known as the Heads of the Valleys Line as it rang along the north side of the range of mountains which contain the coal on which the prosperity of the region had been built. It ran from Abergavenny where we see the train being prepared. In Victorian days, the height of private enterprise and business competition, the Norwestern had provided the competition to the various private South Wales railways and the Great Western, which dominated the coastal end of the valleys. This competition resulted in some valleys and coal mines being serviced by three or more different railway companies, and of course, competitive pricing at a time when coal was the principal fuel for British industry. Nationalization of the railways in 1948 eliminated the competitive element, and the new organization set about the nationalization of its system, closing duplicate routes throughout the country. This went hand in hand with the scrapping of many historic locomotive types, and Pat Whitehouse and John Adams were only just in time to record many of these for posterity. The final train on the heads of the valleys line was hauled by the last remaining example of Francis Webb's London and Northwestern Railway coal tank class and one of his Super D 080 heavy freight engines. The train had been organized by the Stevenson Locomotive Society's Midlands Area Branch, which was very active in the 1950s and 60s, ensuring that many branch lines and cross-country lines, such as this, were visited by special trains. It was a time when railways were still the main form of transport for many, but also when enthusiasm for railways was growing evidenced by the popularity of the railway roundabout programs themselves. The train commemorated not only the closure of the main line, but a number of branches as well. The engines ran down the short branch to Ebber Vale and returned by pushing the train back to the junction at Beaufort. The coal pits were to remain served by the western region. 